everybody. And how are you today? Today, it is Friday, thank God. And we're going to talk about can and could. Well, the definition is they are both model verbs and used to express ability, permission, possibility, requests, and more. Now, when to use can and when to use could, very simple. When you use can, you use it for the present. I can swim, I can play. That's something that you could do now and you're still able to do it in the future. When you use could, you use it for the past. You say, I could swim when I was younger. Well, you could swim when you were younger, but today we don't know. I could play soccer when I was a little boy. That means you, in the past you could play, but today you can't. We use could for the, for the past. Now, we have examples here. We have, I can swim. I could swim when I was younger. I can borrow your, can I, uh, can I borrow your pen? Well, uh, you can also say, could I borrow your pen? Uh, could you please pass the salt? You can also say, can you please pass the salt? Uh, she can speak French fluently. Uh, that means she can speak it now. When you say she could speak French fluent, fluently, that means in the past. When she's in the past, we don't know now if she speaks fluently or not. Now, we don't know the difference. Can for the present and has to do with the future ago and could for the past. But, for example, here when you say, can you help me? Or here you say, could you help me? Well, here, casual. You can say it casual. Can you help me? And here, you want to be uh, polite. And they can hear casual. And hear polite. When you want to be polite, you use could. Can I help you? And hear, could I help you? It has to do some it has something to do with being formal or informal. If you want to be informal, you say, can I help you? Informal. When you want to be formal, you say, could I help you? Thank you so much. That's all there is to it. Now you know. Thank you for joining me. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu